pretty cool pump up video for Handshake right there. So today I want to jump into how to access uh, some Handshake sites and how and some and what what some of the Handshake sites are looking like. What are people already building using their own top level domain name? And the two easiest ways to access this uh, new new internet, the new web, Web 3.0, as some people like to call it, is and to check out what people are building is you can go to hns.to and that lets you access handshake names without changing your DNS settings. This is what the page looks like. You can search for a handshake name and like I said, hns.to, it allows you to access handshake names. Another way to do it that is maybe, uh, that will take a little bit more effort but totally worth it is to use next DNS. That's a DNS resolver. And what you're gonna wanna do is go to settings after you download it. You're gonna wanna go to settings and you want, yeah, after you set up your account. Go to settings, scroll down, see the handshake right here, an experimental peer-to-peer -peer root naming system. Let's people register and secure their own top level domain. And right here you can click on here to enable it. And so that this is those are the two easiest ways to access handshake names. There's some really interesting browsers that are coming out, people making their own browsers, or someday a Brave browser will uh, perhaps natively support it, or other browsers as well. And yeah, let's check out some different uh, sites that people have built. So this is a, a, a looks like kind of a blog right here. I believe this person is one of the name-based developers, if I'm not mistaken. So they are, they this is one of the first ones I saw. They and they created it using. Uh, the top level domain name Turbo Maze. Let's move on to another one. This one's really cool. This one has the top level domain name, the TLD Thief. It's pretty cool. And then, yeah, he just made his blog right here. It's pretty interesting. I think, I think really one of the big use cases in the future for people that maybe are journalists that live in countries where there is lots of censorship or DNS censorship that they can use Handshake along with other uh, emerging technologies or open source projects to uh, in kind of the web 3.0 area in order to build their site to be censorship resistant. Okay, what else do we got? Okay, we got a site called Proof of Concept. I think this is supposed to be kind of, a, you can get your own subdomain. And yeah, you got people commenting on it. And that's pretty cool proof of concept. That's the top level domain. This one's my favorite though. This one's my favorite because I like it when we keep the internet a little bit weird right here. So someone, this top level domain is Will Couteau. Maybe that's the person who created their name and they just put like a fun little site right here. We got a gold rubber ducky. Oh, we got Trump. There's Trump right there. We got Obama. You can use your cursor. Yeah, you can all have all kinds of fun with this right here. So it's fun keeping keeping the internet weird. Love it. And what I've seen most people using their domain names that they've won is to make domain parking sites. And this is probably, this is going to let people know that these domains are for sale. And you can see this person, parking dots and papales, or however you pronounce that, is selling or uh, renting domain names here. So you can see oh, 1,000 HNS. This one, one shop is making an offer. So there's a whole bunch of uh, different ones. Here's another site that looks like it's going to be, yeah, this is also a domain parking site. So you can see how much these are. And I believe if you click on it, it just takes you right to name base. If I'm not mistaken. It takes you right to name base. Yeah. So he put it on name base so you can uh, review and purchase there if you would like. And here's another one that's a little more hands-on, dot uh, uh, 2D. And this one is, yeah, this one is uh, offering dot uh, 2D, top level domain name, offering it if people would like to use it as their top level domain and then they can have a subdomain. So here's a list of subdomains. This is a subdomain that somebody used using dot 2D. Again, this is just the very, very beginning stages. So people are making fun little experiments like this, putting up their blogs, putting up their blogs and making uh, domain parking services. And, and eventually, yeah, there's going to be 
multi-million dollar e-commerce sites and bigger companies making their own websites, but it's just getting started. This has only arrived in the last few months. People are already having fun with it, already experimenting with it a little bit. And let's check the price here. Okay, yeah, the price over the last couple of weeks, we can see there is a nice dip right here. Hopefully you guys, if you are traders, hopefully you bought the dip and it looks like it's uh, heading back up. Very exciting times. There's still auctions going on, so get on Bob Wallet, get on Namebase, keep keep uh, putting in those bid for some bids for some names, and yeah, check everybody later in the next video.